vegetables rise from my skin, yet I reek of blood and sweat. No matter how vast a space, my hair tangles itself beneath the topsoil. My skin covers every grain of dirt burned daily by the morning sun. Most people don't think about me until they pass through me. Speeding cars on the highway, rolling up their windows and pinching their noses from my stench of fertilizer and ground soil, I look crooked to them. Trust, this field is a collection of measured rows where all I hear now are the cries of help from las mujeres. I am the field de calzones. I carry the secrets of the mujeres that plant, grow, and pick me. I am the only witness. I remember hearing si se puede vibrate across my body as those who raised me stood up to a system that's had them shackled to my roots and returned for the promise of an American dream. The hope the money might finally grow out of me. My body has been poisoned with an invisible disease that the mujeres have been carrying on their backs since they've been born. A disease that takes our testimonies and spits it back at our faces that has taped the mouths of all the mujeres, swept them to the edges of my branches. I can't grow as strong and powerful as the lullaby of screams. What do I have to do for the world to believe us? I've seen these supervisors kiss and hug their wives and kids with the same hands and mouths they force on these women. Slowly, sliding their hands up their legs, pressure building in their grips, trying to take as much ownership over their bodies as their paychecks. I wonder if fear swirls in their eyes and reeks out their pores after they're on top of these mujeres and they try to blend in with the rest of the men and the women on the field who all just wants a better future. I can't scrub off the taste of beer and cigarettes, the feeling of unshaven, unkept beards. I wish I could vomit any trace of these overseers or shoot thorns in their legs before they start running away. But my language can't be heard. Cry for help and the only response is my echo. I've been alone for so long, I've become one of these women myself. These foremen know I can't speak. My body is exhausted. I can't point to the parts they have slapped, bruised, and torn. The fruit I carry is rotting from how long I've been holding the secret inside of me. I am withering and shriveling in silence. My roots and limbs are shrinking. The color of my body is disappearing. My dying fruit isn't enough testimony to stop this disease from spreading. This is what years of this sickness has done to me. The only cure is for the world to finally acknowledge what is happening inside of me.